Before we start today's video, I put a post about Instagram, which if you don't follow me, go over and do so now. It's never satisfied 24V. Um, that I'll be announcing the winner in today's video. So I'm gonna adjust the light on the camera and uh, we'll start the giveaway here. I got a random um, name generator. I put everyone's name in there, which took me a long time actually. I did it once and then actually deleted it and had to do it again. But one thing I did learn from putting everyone's name in here twice was a lot of people like to use underscores or periods in between words or numbers, so that was pretty interesting. But I'm gonna adjust the light on the camera and we'll jump into this giveaway. All right, so I got everyone's name and put it in here. As you can see, lots of entries. But if you um, tagged anyone like the post said, you got an extra entry, so I put your name in here two times if you did two tags, plus your initial entry, so three, and so on and so forth. But I'm gonna hit save right here. And then I'm gonna hit choose for me at the top of this corner right here, and it's gonna automatically draw a name from that whole selection and uh, that'll be the winner of the giveaway. So let's go ahead and do it. Hit right here, choose for me. Caleb Hale, 4.7. Let me see if I can adjust the camera here. All right, so it's not one to focus, but Caleb Hale, 4.7, you won the giveaway. Send me your information, first, last name, address, email address, and your phone number, and I'll send all that information over to Hotshot Secrets, and they'll be sending you the care package out directly from them. But that's the winner of the giveaway. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you to everyone that entered. We have another one coming up, so make sure to follow my Instagram, Never Satisfied 24 v to find out when that's gonna go live. But with that being said, let's jump into today's video. Hope you guys enjoy. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back or to the channel. If this is your first time stopping in, don't forget to go down below and hit that subscribe button. We're back here at Preston's house today. He's wearing his sunglasses to protect his identity and it makes him feel better about being on camera. But anyways, it's a nice sunny day here. Actually, surprisingly in the Northwest, we had a bunch of rain yesterday and all week. So it's really nice outside. But anyways, today we're gonna get into um, doing an upgrade on my truck that I'm really excited about and long time coming. So let's get into the unboxing. All right guys, so today we're gonna get an unboxing this, which is a tuner from Diesel Auto Power. It's gonna be the Quadzilla, um, which you'll see here in a minute. But huge shout out to um, Diesel Auto Power for hooking the truck up with this awesome tuner. I'm really excited to get it on the truck. I've been looking at a lot of tuners, Edge, um, Smarty makes one, Bulldog makes one, which I wouldn't recommend. I've heard a lot of problems with the Bulldog. Um, there's a couple other ones, I'm probably forgetting, but Anyways, again, huge shout out to Diesel Auto Power. I'll put all the information down below, their website, Instagram, and everything. Really knowledgeable people. If you have any questions, give them a phone call. They'll help you in the right direction of your build. You just kind of tell them what your goal is and what you want to do, and they'll help you with um, the size injectors you need, turbo, all that stuff. Really awesome people, so make sure to check them out. DieselAutoPower.com. There'll be a link down below. All right, so here's what the box looks like. Real nice box. And on the corner here, it says release the beast. All right, so right off the top, we got some diesel auto power stickers and some more here. And then we got all the instructions right here. Nice little diesel auto power lanyard. Quadzilla power um, sticker as well. And then of course you have the actual tuner right here, which I'll pull out real quick. So here it is. Um, this box was set underneath the hood, like you guys saw on um, Rob's truck last video. Um, well, actually two videos ago. No, this will be last video. So like you saw on Rob's truck last video, you just plug all your um, wiring into this box and this is underneath the hood. Kind of like the tuner I have now, which I'll show you, which is the Edge EZ. And then we have here, it looks like a sensor and something for the fuel pressure. But we'll get into this later on after we uh, read through the instructions and start to get on the install on it. We'll go over everything with you guys. Alright, and then here we have the iQuad attachment, which is like a Wi-Fi system so that way you can hook your phone up to the tuner and um, have everything on your phone right there inside the truck instead of having to run wires into your truck and then a monitor and everything like we saw um, on Rob's truck last video. Alright, so this attachment right here is going to be for your trans temp. And then this attachment right here will be for your EGTs. But we're gonna get the truck pulled in the driveway, get the old tuner out, which we'll show you, and get this new one installed, so let's go. All right, so we've got the truck pulled into the garage about as much as we could, which is mostly just part of the bed. But we also got the old tuner out, which you can see right here, like I said before, which is an Edge EZ, which is like a basic base model tuner for something you put on your truck if you don't have any horsepower. Modifications done to it, like turbo, uh, head studs, um, injectors all that stuff, but this is what I got before so if you guys want to purchase this um, 
first come first serve shoot me a um, offer in the comments down below or on instagram and i'll get back to you if not maybe i'll just do a giveaway with it clean it up and uh put it back in the original box that i still have but preston's working on getting the new tuner in now and the instructions it does say to um mount it on top of the fuse box like you see there it comes with some double-sided tape so just stick it on there we're gonna go ahead and get that installed there and then um start putting all the wiring where that's gonna go and then go from there but we'll go over everything with you guys so stay tuned all right guys so we got everything laid out um preston's gonna go ahead and take over and tell you all the wiring and then we'll go to get installed and show you as well that we don't try to remember all this right now all right guys so this is your main right here it goes into your quad or your tuner it's gonna have your power and your negative these get hooked to the battery terminals then we have the starter se starter sensor which then goes through the firewall and up into the little fuse panel on the dash it's gonna go to your number nine slot fuse and then right here is EGT probe plug-in EGTs right here this right here is your map sensor adapting cord so it goes underneath into the block down there I'll show you later which then gets plugged into this guy for the tuner this is your data link that goes right up underneath here right by the VP44 this one right here this is for the sensor this is for your trans temp we'll go all the way down in there put your sensor and this gets screwed onto it this is your TSP right TPS, yeah. TPS goes right up. We don't know exactly where this one goes yet. We'll figure that one out. It's gonna go up here somewhere. somewhere in there. We don't know exactly. And this last one right here, this little guy. This is for your dad, for basically for running your phone. That little i dash. The i quad. It's the wireless setup there. Wireless system, and that's about it for I think we got them all. So we're just gonna start plugging stuff in. I want to start go down to the. We'll, we'll do the map sensor first. We'll work our way forward to the data link. And then we'll start running all the little sensor wires and probably do this dash one so we can actually get power to it and make sure the tuner works. So that's the plan. Like you said, we're going to start map sensor, data link, um, and then we'll run um, into the cab and then go from there. But we'll go over everything with you guys so you guys know how to install it so if you guys get one for yourself. And yes, one of my vacuum lines broke because these plastic old brittle things are junk. So we're going to replace that today too. So you guys couldn't see because it was there was enough room here with our hands in the way to be able to film anything. But we got both the um, connections in for the map sensor and then plugged into the uh, wiring harness here. So next up, we're going to go ahead. Oh, Preston already got it, but there's a plug down there for the data link. All plugged in. So next, we're going to run the ignition uh, sensor um, through the firewall here and into the cab, and then we'll get that plugged into the number nine uh, fuse inside the truck. So we got the wire ran in through here and it's gonna go on the top one, it's the third one over from the right hand side. We gotta get a number 10 fuse with an attachment so we can put this on it, um, which we'll end up running and getting later, but we're gonna move on. I'm just running to So we've got the TPS sensor housing completely taken off and if you zoom in down here, kind of hard to see but there's two wires on the top here coming off the VP I'm trying to keep my finger out of there so that way the flashlight you guys can see still but you're gonna take back that um, little tiny tubing you're gonna cut it back and pull it that way it exposes the two wires there this set of wires and the one below it so you take this cover off like I said and the one that's closest to the engine bay you're gonna tap that one this will void your warranty and if you tap the wrong one it will mess up your VP your truck the tuner all that stuff so you got to be careful Take back that sheathing and the, the one closest to the engine is going to be the one that you're going to tap. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. All right, so to do so, it comes with this little tiny um, tap. You're going to take this end and put it on the wire. And then you're going to take the end and press this hand here and then screw it into this end. And that'll go ahead and push it through and tap the wire.
All right, guys, and like that, our warranty is voided, but in all seriousness, we got the VP wire tapped. Now we're gonna go ahead and take the TPS sensor wire and plug it right into there. So now we have the TPS sensor um, completely installed along with the tap inside the VP44 in the correct wire. That way we don't mess our VP44 up. Now we're going to go take the TPS sensor housing and put it back in and put the three 13 millimeter bolts in and move on to the next step. So guys, I'm about to end the video right here because otherwise it'd be too long. Part two will go live next Tuesday at 6 p.m. Turn on your post notifications so you don't miss it. We're going to be doing some road testing and some messing around with some of the tunes and building some tunes as well. So if it's something you're interested in, make sure to tune in. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and go down below and hit that subscribe button if you're new here. I want to give a huge thank you to all you guys for 3,000 subscribers. That means a lot to me. I really appreciate all the support. I have so many video ideas coming up as well as builds on other people's trucks as well. And I also kind of want to do a segment on the um, channel called Featured or something like that where I bring a subscriber or someone that follows me on Instagram onto the channel and we review slash do like a walk around of their truck, maybe um, future build plans and stuff like that. If it's something you guys are interested in, let me know in the comments down below and we'll um, start doing that here soon. Maybe like once a month or every two weeks or something, we'll do something like that. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you to everyone that entered in the giveaway. Congratulations to Caleb Hale 4.7. Don't forget to send me your information. If you guys want to get entered in the next giveaway, which will be going live in about a week or so, make sure to follow me on Instagram, and we'll see you next time.